Hi everybody, it's Deanna with ToolsOfEnergyProtection.com, your energy shift expert, where I teach highly sensitive people and empathic people how to navigate the energies. Oh my goodness, this is an absolutely crazy energetic time right now, and things are basically all over the place, okay? I mean, it, it's just an amazing time where these energies are in and out and up and down. And how many of you are feeling extremely fatigued right now? I woke up this morning and I was like, I don't know if I can do today because it was so extremely um, debilitating. Some of the energies that came in last night, just feeling very tired and um, high patty and high Nancy uh, and very debilitating. So I'd like to talk about tonight a little bit about these fluctuations and energies and what's going on. And for those of you that are just getting to know me and coming on to these Facebook Lives, um, you know that I have many titles and one of them is a metaphysician. And so what that means is that I deal with energies that people can't see, um, but, but they can feel. So for example, if you take a pencil and you drop it, what happens? It, it, it goes down. Why? because of gravity. So gravity is an energy that you cannot see, but yet it works. <laughs> so those are the kind of energies, um, not gravity, that we're working with right now. And I'm gonna go out just a little bit further than I normally do in explaining what's happening for you, what's happening on this planet. But the, the way that the stars are aligned and, and the way that the energies are being shifted with the heartbeat of the earth, uh, are, it's, it's bringing in higher dimensional frequencies than have been brought in in a long time. And as we talked about in, um, 20, uh, uh, in 2018, it's been a long year of working on ourselves and being at the, this apex and looking at our relationships with others and things and people and we we work on ourselves and we're like oh i'm finally done and then here comes another round and another round and another round and now it's december and we'd like to have a break and we would like to take a deep breath and just be done with it but it's not happening why well if you're uh, into looking at stars and astrology you can go look at it you can uh, get yourself a copy of um oh. Sorry, I can't get the name of it right at the moment. Thinking is another thing that's been really slow uh, for a lot of folks. I'm finding out my inner circle was telling me, you know, words are just not coming. But anyways, it's the Farmer's Almanac. So the Farmer's Almanac, you can look at that and the cycles of the planets and, and uh, farmers and uh, sometimes ranchers use it to breed because they know when the best, best breeding times are. But there's so much to that energy, and I would encourage you to learn as much as you can. But for tonight's purposes, what's happening? Well, the energies are shifting so much and so dynamically that the different dimensional frequencies are being stirred up. So it's a bit like taking um, uh, water and put it in a jar, and you put a little dirt in there, and you shake it up, and you set it down, and you see how long it takes it to separate. But these energies are designed by divine order, by God's spirit or source, to bring us to a space that most of us have never been or imagined. And that is a space of true love for ourselves within ourselves. And so focusing on loving ourselves is huge right now. And if you look at the energies at large, if you're in America, if you celebrate Christmas, um, the commercialism for that is huge. It's like buy for other people, buy presents, ring up your credit cards, get this, get that. And it's this huge commercial industry um, for everybody to go out and buy things. And I will tell you, bottom line, there were years I didn't have money to buy hardly anything. And so I would actually go out and buy fruit because fruit was something traditional given in the old days because people didn't have it readily like they do today. And I would wrap it up in plastic and put a big bow on it. And that's what I gave for Christmas because I gave as I was able. So just a bit of a warning to watch how much you're buying with the commercialism. Because that's when you're out there buying those things, it's not a me energy. It's not a loving self energy to ring your credit cards up to the hilt or spend more money than you have. And so it's interesting that the shift is addressing the loving of the self, the nurturing of the self, the building of the self at the highest point when a lot of other folks are into this give, 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 rush, 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 buy, 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 you know, me, 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 me. 
which is a different kind of energy. <laughs> I know my daughter's like, I want this, I want this, me, 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 you know, that kind of thing. But I'm going to take a look at the feed really quickly and see if we have any questions. Um, uh, Patty is acknowledging she is very tired. Uh, good evening to Ed and hi, Anna. Big hugs and kisses. Um, uh, Brooke says, uh, being eight months pregnant, I think it makes me even more uh, even more intense, but yes, Brooke, I would totally agree. Hi, Teresa, good to see you. So these, um, these energies are coming in, and I'd like to give you a really, really good picture. So it's like a cascading waterfall. If you've ever seen a beautiful waterfall, and the water comes down cascading, and as the water's falling, it's purifying, and then it goes into the pool, and it brings fresh uh, water from the purification. So if you imagine the different dimensional frequencies are much like that. So usually about the ninth or tenth dimensional frequency is what I can access. And over the last couple of weeks, more and more has been opening. And so today I actually got the 14th dimensional frequency. And what does that mean? Uh, my inner circle and I were talking about it earlier, and it's a life frequency. It's giving life. It's bringing life to whatever it is that you're focused on. So listen closely. Whatever you're focused on right now, this energy will bring life to it. So if you are focusing on, I don't know how I'm going to get all my housework done. I don't know how I'm going to be able to afford presents for everybody. I don't know, blah, 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 whatever it is. Those are just the top two I've been hearing. <laughs> that is what the energy is going to pour into. So be careful. And I'm going to be silly for a minute. I can't, I guess I can do this. So here's a bottle of water, and as you can see, it's not all the way filled to the top. And here's another bottle of water. It's a little bit more full. So it depends on where you are spiritually to how much is going to be poured into you. So this bottle is going to need a lot more love energy poured into it, which means it has to let go of a lot more air in order for the water to come in. And this one's going to need less. And that's what's happening to us with these love frequencies. So if you have um, still been holding on to some things you worked on this year, these energies coming in are just going to be splashing, cascading, and loving. And you're like, no, I don't want to let go of this. And, and it's not going to let you keep it. So the universe is literally ripping away from you the poop you've been holding on to. And I highly recommend you let it go. Focus on self-love if you don't know how to do anything else. And on my website, toolsofenergyprotection.com, um, I have a countdown of words of wisdom for the new year, and I apologize to those of you that were following it for things like, you know, set goals, do this, do this, because it switched a couple of weeks ago over to empathic empowerment, um, because there's so many people reaching out to me, telling me that they feel weird, um, especially highly sensitive people and gifted people, that I switched it on how to survive. So if you go and click on my website, click on that link, it's going to show you things some days. Um, I give uh, food things to eat or watch out, you know, like not so much fried foods or eat more healthy foods. You know, these are all things that would seem normal. But with the energy shifts the way they are, these are things that I'm directly uh, getting from God's spirit or source to tell people to do to make it through navigating these energies because they are intense and they are not easy and they're not letting up. All right, let me see if I have any questions. And Brooke, just breathe and ask God's spirit or source to protect you during your pregnancy. I'm so excited that you're eight months along. You only have one month to go. I can't wait to hear. Um, I would love to see pictures once your uh, bundle of joy shows up. I'm very excited for you. But again, this, this time is going to be from, you know, it started at the beginning of December, and it's going all the way until January, so it's not going to let up anytime soon. And do visit the website, click on Words of Wisdom, you know, for the, for the new year, and find out what's going on each day, because I'm posting each and every day. You can share it with friends. If you're on Facebook, um, I'll put it down in the feed every day, and it'll pop up. It has a picture of a guy standing with his hands open under the sunshine, but... Um, let's talk a little bit more about what's happening uh, with these shifts. This is a time about self-love and about taking care of yourself and not feeling selfish about it. So a lot of people at this time of year give, 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 give until they can't give anymore, and they're exhausted. They're thoroughly and completely exhausted. So it's a good time to make a schedule and map out some time for yourself and not to feel guilty about it. If you need to sit down and take a rest, if you need to take a nap, do it. 
because it's paramount right now to do that and not feel guilty. All right, if anybody has any questions, um, please put them in the feed. I'd like to say hi to Tim. And it uh, looks like Teresa has a question. Uh, things keep breaking in my life right now, my car, my garage, uh, my mixing bowls, a coffee cup, what's going on? Okay, Teresa. <laughs> um, there can be many things that are going on. And uh, logically, I would ask you to go and look up, there's a US website that talks about seismographs, uh, um, about uh, like little earthquakes that we don't normally feel. And I would encourage you to look that up in the address where you are just to be sure. But um, if things are breaking, like your car, of course, that would be explained that way, or your garage door, uh, your energy frequency is resonating up and down in between these two energies we talked about earlier. And so, again, if you're like this uh, water here, um, this, this uh, bottle, and you've worked on yourself and you have this much energy that's positive in you, but there's this gap of stuff that you haven't either let go of or replaced in your life. This beautiful cascading loving energy is going to come in and fill it up. And so that's what causes us to oscillate or vacillate. And that's what causes things to break because your electromagnetism is sending out energy to the things around you. And the things around you will respond. And um, your car uh, is uh, electrical in nature. And so it does have a magnetism. And I know I've been there. I have caused damage to at least one car from my electromagnetism. It's no joke. So if you want to reach out to me, um, go on the website, toolsofenergyprotection.com, click on uh, personal appointments and book yourself an appointment. I will get to you um, on that day and we can go into it more deeply, clear things that may be bothering you, uh, mixing bowls, and a coffee cup that could have to do with hydration, but again, it just be if you're super excited or feel kind of jittery or not well settled. If you choose, you can also meditate or put on some relaxing music, take a nice hot bath and salt. Um, that will help you as well. Let me see if I have any other questions down here, and I don't right at the moment, but I'm going to give it just a sec. So please um, take some time to do some self-loving things. This is so super important. And if you know people that are highly sensitive, if you know people that are empathic, I would ask that you would share this video with them, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or WordPress. Um, just please share it so that they know that they're not nuts. That is the biggest thing I hear people say, I feel weird and I, and I must be nuts. But remember to look at your 3D world first. If you're not getting the rest, you're not getting the right nutrition, and if you're stressed out, things are going to be off anyway. So those are things to look at in addition to these energy frequencies, and they will lift you up. And here's the good news. At the end of December, coming into January, there is a huge spiritual energetic lift in all of you beautiful highly sensitive people and empathic people who are in the right vibration, you're going to be lifted up to a new level of awareness and understanding like you've never seen before. And it is so beautiful. It will help you to manifest things in your life. It will help you to have better relationships with people in your life. And so that's what's coming and that's what this is building up to. All right, let me see if there's any more questions. Oh, uh, Teresa says... <laughs> She has a broken windshield too. Oh, Teresa, please reach out to me. Let's have an appointment. Talk about what's off for you. There's probably something off in your bioelectromagnetic frequency. Um, it feels like it could be uh, around the heart pulsing, um, also the liver, because those are electromagnetic um, biological parts of you um, that could also be happening. Um, but that's it. That's what I have for tonight. So I don't see any more questions on the feed. And remember to check toolsofenergyprotection.com. On the top right-hand side, click the wisdom towards the new year, and it will take you over to a page to talk about what's happening each and every day so you can stay on top of it. Share the video if you know somebody who's going through that. Also, this coming up Tuesday, a week from today, I will be at For Heaven's Sakes Books again for the last Tuesday of, the, of December. And then I will also be there this coming up Thursday and this coming up Friday. Um, to try to help as many folks as I can. Last Tuesday and, and uh, last Thursday were beautiful, and so many people came to see me, and I was so grateful to see each and every one. And the spots do fill up quickly, so it is important um, to give the bookstore called during regular hours. And um, if you want to book online with me, that doesn't require anything but just going online and finding the time that you like. 
which you can call 303-964-9339. That's 303-964-9339 to book it for heaven's sakes during normal business hours. Uh, for those of you that are out of the country, I know I have some people watching in Great Britain and India. If you would like to schedule a time with me and you're not able to make that uh, work um, on the online booking system, just go ahead and send me an email and we'll get you booked just as soon as possible. So have a great and wonderful night, everybody. And um, if you're uh, working on um, uh, boundaries with people, uh, that's also a good thing. Teresa mentioned that. And then um, uh, if you do anything for the winter holiday, whatever it is that you choose to celebrate and bring love in your heart, then I'm sending my love out to you in that respect. And for me and my family, Merry Christmas. And I will see you again next Tuesday. The Tuesday after that, I won't be here. So have a great and wonderful night.